Hey everyone, it's me. And Caleb. And we're here to do a Degusta box for September. We have it right in front of us, so we're just going to go ahead and cut this open. Alright you guys, per usual it has the sticker on the top. And for September, it's the tomato and basil soup recipe here. So it might have something of that sort inside of here. But here's everything that's inside of here right now that we're going to get right into. So we have our coupons on the top. Per usual, we've got three coupons. One from Goya, which is rice. Something from Wild Planet, which is actually albacore and tuna. And the last thing from some kind of vitamins of some sort. So let's get into this. Right on top, we have Angelic Bakehouse. Delicious and nutritious. Like being both, simple. And what is that word? Sophisticated. Sophisticated. So these are basically um, bread crisps. They uh, are retail for four dollars, and they're like a basic cracker or a crostini that you can go ahead and put some dip or spread onto, and um, you can do it that way. I don't think these are flavored of any sort. I think that they are just bread. Mm -hmm. They just have a little bit of sea salt on them, but. You can eat those with any kind of salsa or dip or spread or anything like that. Mm. The next thing in here is from Lee Kum Ki and from Hong Kong and this is a sauce for Korean barbecue stir fry. This actually retails for $3.49 and I'm not sure exactly what flavor. I think it's just Korean barbecue. But it's just, it's a really big packet of um, barbecue sauce that you can put in stir fry. I'm pretty sure you can put this in anything though or you can probably do it for any you can put some on from chicken too maybe. So that one's that. I'm not gonna try that though. The next thing is a mango something Spanish. It's Reese on the go fruit quinoa cups. They retail for $3.99 and they're delicious treats that offer the first combination of quinoa and sweet fruit flavors in a convenient cup. Um, we actually get Oops. one of each of the flavors, which I have no idea what the other one is. It smells good. Stick your finger in it. I've heard quinoa and fruit is actually pretty good together. That was alright. It kind of tasted like tapioca in a way, the texture. Uh, this next one, we actually got the cookies, and I think they're still in our um, cabinet because we still have yet to make them. This is the King Arthur Flour Essential Goodness Lemon Bar Mix, and this is pretty much just how you make lemon bars, and this is a retail for $4.95, and it's just like those cookies that we got the last time. You just want to bake them, or make them. I don't even know if you have, oh yeah, you do have to bake. Um, make 16 bars, and that's actually pretty heavy, you guys. So that's that's interesting. I don't think I've had lemon bars before. The next thing's in bubble wrap. It is tomato puree. So this is actually from the brand Moody or Muddy. We've actually gotten this brand uh, a couple of times in the past. It is. We've gotten tomato paste before. We've gotten tomato sauce before, I believe, and. Um, yeah, it seems to be really, really good. So this retails for $4.49, and it's, it's, it says it's the quickest and easiest product to prepare because it only needs to be heated. That's it. So you don't have to add anything to it or add it to anything. It's just sauce that needs to be heated up. Um, the next thing in here we actually got two of, and they're from Sunripe, and they are fruit to go. They're kind of like the um, fruit strips that you guys, I don't even know what they're called, but I, I can picture it in my head. This is, retails for 50 cents each, and they are just fruit bars, pretty much. They, fruit strips, that's what they're called. Can apple wild berry and apple strawberry watermelon. Can you eat them right out of the package? Mm-hmm. Wanna try them? I don't wanna try them. Oh yeah. I'll try the apple wild berry because I don't like artificial watermelon. But it looks just like um, fruit. Like one of those fruit strips, this is what it looks like. Um, if you guys know what I'm talking about, leave it down below because I, I know what I'm talking about. It smells really good. It smells like something when you were a child. It tastes really good. Yeah, it tastes really, really good. 
apple wild berry. This is actually pretty good. 50 cents each, you guys. That's not bad. Plus, you might get your full servings of fruit in this, or at least a little bit of them. 100% fruit. No artificial colors, preserve is, no added sugar, no artificial flavors. So it's probably not artificial watermelon, but I just have a bad thing if it's not just actual watermelon of eating it. Okay, you guys, so that one was actually pretty good. Let's see what else we got in there. We got Natural Sins. I These are $1.99. Coconut Crisp. From mm. Costa Rica. It's fruit and vegetable chips. They burst with flavor, indulge all five senses, and satisfy the undeniable craving for snack chips. Once you try our very un-potato chip snacks, so they're they're like potato chips, but they're not potatoes. Yeah, they're tangy. I think we got something like this last time too, and I ate them all. Yeah. Yeah, this tastes just like it. It's they're, really good. They're kind of small, but they're good. They add like oh, they're really good though. They're kind of mm -hmm. sweet. Actually, very sweet. They're kind of good. They're very, very good. What else we got in here? We got three more things. We got something from Goya, which is one of those uh, coupons that we got. Coupon. This is the authentic style rice pilaf in the original flavor. It has orzo. It has all sorts of different types of rice, I'm pretty sure. But this is $1.99. And pretty much, it's just rice pilaf. I mean, it has mushrooms and peppers rice and i'm not sure what else is in here but onion and garlic if you're looking for something to put in with your meals your pasta whatever it may be you don't want to put it with pasta but whatever you got enchiladas boom next thing is shredded wheat cinnamon roll so this is actually a cereal you guys and this is actually a full size box of cereal which i've never seen in um the use box before this retails for $3.49, and like he said, it is the frosted cinnamon roll, tasty cinnamon frosting with a burst of vanilla flavor in the middle. So there's actually, I'm not a big fan of um, Wheaties like this, but. Mm, yeah. These are actually pretty good. It does taste just like a cinnamon roll, you guys. It's pretty good. We're gonna have to buy milk now. Obviously. You can eat this alone, or you could eat it as a cereal. Totally up to you. Okay, so this last thing, actually, I'm pretty excited for. It's tuna. And, um, it's upside down. But this is from Wild Planet. And this retails for $4.99. Wow, $4.99. This is a $5 can of tuna, you guys. And usually the tuna that I buy is like 87 cents. This is a $5 can of tuna. It's ranked number one by Greenpeace for sustainability. It's albacore tuna, 100% pole and line caught. Wow. Well, I'll definitely have to try this and let you guys know because I actually love tuna. I love putting a little mayonnaise in my tuna with some uh, garlic salt. So I'll definitely be trying this. And it has omega-3 rich juices, which is really good. So it's not in any kind of oil or anything like that. So yeah, I'm excited to try this, you guys. This is probably one of the most favorite is things in here so yeah that was pretty much it though actually that was it there is nothing else in this box except oh, for our uh coconut chips so our september box you guys was actually a lot of different things generally they try to stay with the theme as what i've been noticing but there's a ton of different things in here which is really really good because you get to try a whole bunch of things so my favorite thing out of this whole box i would have to say would be the fruit strip. I really, really liked this. It was really, really good. And it didn't taste very artificial. It actually tasted just like fruit. It was really good. I enjoyed mine as well. I think, yeah, I already ate mine. I think I'm gonna enjoy this the most. These are actually really good. Mm -hmm. I was a big fan. I think I'm also gonna enjoy this a lot. I'm probably gonna take this to work tomorrow, or the day. Actually, I might eat it tomorrow on the day <laughs> off, so that's probably what I'm gonna do. But yeah, that was uh, Jay Gusta Box for September. Hope you guys enjoy. And uh, we'll see you next month for October unboxing. Bye, guys. Bye.